Hello everyone, welcome to Jessica Academy and in this tutorial I'm going to talk about the introduction to Renderman from Maya so let's uh, let's load the plugin first let's go to the window settings and preferences plugin manager and uh, scroll down you can see the Renderman from Maya uh, plugin available in the plugin manager if you are already installed it so it is uh, uh, it is free for non-commercial use uh, users so uh, so once you are loaded you can see we have uh, some options uh, available in Maya after loading it up so we can see a, a random man related uh, shelf here we can see uh, some of the cool options available for us and we have the random man uh, menu here and then we have uh, the random man uh, viewport rendering option so uh, and if I go to the render settings you can see the random man is available now if you go to the hyper shade we can see uh, the random man section and we can have all the random man related shading nodes in this section so so these are the random man stuffs in Maya so let's let's uh, explain about few things uh, according to the user interface and the shelf tools menu and things like that so first of all the random man shelf here so we can see we have uh, uh, some options here so some of the options has uh, this little uh, triangles and if you right click that particular uh, buttons you can see we have a sub menu so, so it's the same way you can uh, 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 use the different buttons and you can get a lot of different options so first we have the uh, the preview render button so and we have the IPR so so this is IPR interactive preview rendering so whatever we are updating in our scene will be uh, uh, lively updated in the render and this one is uh, for the final renders and this one is image 2 so uh, we will talk about uh, the image tool uh, later in the session itself and this button related to the batch rendering and we have some options for the lighting so this section is completely for lighting so you can see we have all the rectangle and this lights all the analytic lights here and we have our dome light portal lights here and mesh light so if you click this button if you click a geometry and if you click this little button it will convert the geometry into mesh lights and we have uh, light filters available for us and we have the materials in this in this material section so you can get the uh, surface material and uh, Disney material and layer surface everything here and this little button related to uh, volumes and uh, we will talk about in the future uh, sessions so this is for holdout and uh, and this is for alembic and so many things we have the cool preset browser here so we can get a lot of uh, uh, cool material presets from uh, this uh, preset browser and then we have the TX converter so usually a random man works with the .tex format when we come with the textures so we'll talk about this in the later and the future tutorials uh, let's focus on let's let's import some object some simple object and uh, uh, render our first scene in render man the object we have some object in this in, in, our, in my desktop so I've got this little teapot objects from the random man website so let's let's first launch render okay I've launched an IPR and now you can see uh, this is the default lighting uh, it, it comes with the default materials and uh, so now you can see if I click uh, my Maya so it this this window it is separate from Maya but it's still uh, being on top of my Maya because you have to enable this windows always on top this if it is not enabled so let's say if I click anywhere in my Maya so it will uh, go behind Maya so if I enable this so it is always on top of my uh, Maya so this is uh, important one and uh, okay let's let's stop the IPR for now and let's create a simple scene let's create a backdrop first a simple backdrop ok 
okay so we have got this result so as we can see here so this is uh, default light so uh, if you don't have any lights in the scene it automatically uh, automatically enable the default light and uh, let's create a new light let's right click this button and let's create a dome light so now you can see we have got the dome light and we have no textures assigned to the dome light let's so I've loaded my texture here so this is a, a this is a me machine room HDRI so I've got this HDRI from uh, HDRI haven.com so let's let's position this light and uh, let's assign the material now so now if I click this little button so it will automatically assign the material to the object so we have to click the objects first so in this case I'm going to assign a material for my teapot so uh, let's let's give a plastic material to this maybe let's give a color first introduce some um, specular and uh, I'm not going to use artistic I'm going to use physical so if you use artistic so you can see we have two different sliders one is edge color so so you can see here if I increase this you can see some of the specular uh, in the edge of this or uh, the object so uh, so you can increase the face color to get more specular in the front direction the camera facing angle so uh, the more you increase it reacts like a uh, metal so uh, I'm not gonna use this you can use this you can give a slight front color to get the plastic related materials so, uh, I'm gonna use physical for this so now you can see we have the options to assign the uh, index of refraction so I think this is fine let's let's go with the default settings and let's decrease the roughness a little okay I think this is fine maybe let's assign a material to the glass and uh, I mean oh, the frame let's name it plastic and decrease the specular so select the object maybe let's decrease the color to get a black color okay I think this is fine uh, let's assign the same material to the legs so we have assigned the plastic material to the legs also and uh, let's assign a glass material to this guy so let's decrease the glass uh, diffuse of this material because if you have the uh, diffuse and if you go to the glass increase the reflection re refraction and reflection you can still see the ref uh, the diffuse is taking place in this particular material so we don't want that so in order to get this off we have to turn off this uh, diffuse completely so now we have got the glass material maybe let's give a tint to the glass yes we have uh, we have got the glass material here so the next thing is uh, the teapot's material to the cap also okay so I think this is uh, fair enough for the materials and uh, uh, okay let's go to the view and fit image to window so now it is always uh, the zoom options will be always stuck with this uh, this user interface the image tool so yeah and maybe let's uh, focus a little on the render settings so maybe let's go to the samplings random and samplings and we have two different sampling section here one is for the preview render and the another one is for the IPR samples and uh, so let's increase the IPR samples a little bit so let's let's change this to three uh, and 0.03 and this one to 
128 maybe okay and uh, the first thing I'll usually do to reduce the, the noise is I will go to uh, and select the lights and uh, go to the advanced increase the light samples so uh, the the primary uh, race that is responsible for the noise is the light so we have to always increase the light samples first we have uh, already created a dome light and we have already got some cool specular and uh, lighting available from the dome light maybe let's change the lighting a little bit to get the uh, uh, highlight specular highlight on top of uh, the the glass object okay I think this is fine okay let's create another light so in this case I'm going to use a PXR disk light so this is like our uh, the the area light okay let's create a new camera to uh, to fit to place the lights okay let's let's launch the render if you right click and go to the camera render the scene with the perspective camera so we already selected our disk light maybe let's increase the exposure so you can see here and we have uh, a lot of cool options in the lighting so I will cover uh, a detailed tutorial for the lights in renderman in the future uh, episodes but let's go for this now and I want to enable the temperature to get some to get some color for the from a light so maybe let's decrease it more I think 3000 I think this is too much. Maybe let's go for four four thousand. So yeah, and uh, maybe I wanna create one more light, which is uh, I'm gonna duplicate this. Let's press Control D. okay so let's launch the IPR again oops so uh, so whatever the active camera will be rendered usually and so let's right click in the IPR button and go to the camera select the render cam so yeah okay we have got our uh, another light emitting light to the scene so uh, we are uh, still we are getting some noise to the scene so let's reduce that also so most of the time we are getting uh, in this scene it's it's a noise from indirect uh, illumination or GI so we have to increase the indirect samples a bit maybe let's go for 8 Okay, let's framing this guy. And maybe let's change the color. And if I if you uh select this little button so you can select the object or material whatever that you want so if you use this button so you can select the geometry shape node and if you click this button so you can uh, select the material that's related to that particular pixel and if you still notice you can see we have the jagged jaggedness in the polygon so this is because of it, it usually 
uh, it didn't subdivide the object so we have to make this subdivided geometry so in order to do that you can select this object and go to the shape node and so let's okay so uh, in this in this random man s in th this random man section so you can uh, go to the subdivision surface and you can select this to the catmull clark so if you select this catmull clark now you can see this object is subdivided and we we also want to set the subdivision uh, subdivided mesh to all the objects so instead of select this one by one so let's select everything uh, except the lights uh, let's select all the objects in the scene and go to windows general editors and attribute spreadsheet so if you go to the random man uh, section here so you can see the random man subdiv scheme click this button and press one so it will select the first option so which is the catmull clark and now all the objects are subdivided let's close this guy okay uh, let me pause the scene for a while so i can tweak the scene more artistically uh, to get some cool results and uh, yeah so after spending some time on tweaking this scene so here is the result so I have uh, uh, played with the color a little bit so uh, you can see I have played with the color a little bit and I have played with the light positions and uh, this the, the, tra the um, temperature of this light so I have set this to 3000 and uh, I played a little bit with the specular values of this uh, materials okay so that's it for this tutorial guys let's talk more uh, contents in the in the upcoming tutorials so stay tuned and subscribe my channel and thanks for watching